Hey carnivorous plant gang, Dominic here at Red Leaf Exotics. Today we have an awesome species that we're gonna be looking at, Nepenthes bicalcarata, the pitcher plant with fangs. I've been dying to make a video on Nepenthes bicalcarata for you guys. It's so cool, and this one's looking really good even in the dead of winter. But get a load of the fangs on this thing. So beautiful and unusual. Bicalcarata can be found in northwestern Borneo. It's mainly found growing in peaty swamps below 300 meters. Sometimes in the greenhouse, especially in summer, I can't be in here longer than five minutes. This plant loves it hot, humid, moist, and shady, and that's when it produces some of its biggest pitchers and biggest leaves. And on the note of biggest, Nepenthes bical produces some of the largest uh, base growths there are. They can be over three or four feet across, and the plants can climb well over 20 meters up into the trees, making it one of the biggest species there is as far as the plant goes. So one of the things people are most curious about is why does Nepenthes bicalcarata get fangs? Well, the fangs actually have some of the largest nectaries in the plant kingdom. They ooze this sweet nectar and insects are drawn to that and it's right over the pitcher mouth. So once they get a little taste, they could slip and fall inside. Another theory is that they actually protect the plant and the food inside from different arboreal mammals like tarsiers from reaching in and stealing the prey, they are really sharp. And if I was an animal, I would not stick my finger in there. Another interesting thing about this species is that the digestive fluids it produces are not very strong. It's not looking to capture a ton of food, break it down and suck it up. In the wild, it actually relies on a symbiotic relationship with a carpenter ant. It lives in the tendrils of the upper pitchers. These are lower pitchers, but you could see how thick the tendril is. It's actually hollow. And in the wild, the ants live inside the upper pitcher tendrils. And a cool thing is the ant protects the plant. They are very vicious. It cleans the peristome, making sure it doesn't get dirty and making sure it's efficient for luring and capturing other bugs, but the ants are actually cleaning out the picture, pictures of larger prey, digesting them, and it's getting a lot of its nutrients from the species of the ants, which is beyond mind-blowing. I mean, Loei likes shrew poop, uh, Hemsiliana loves bat poop, Bicalcarata loves ant poop. As far as cultivation requirements go, Nepenthes bicalcarata does love it really hot and humid. They are not a great house plant, especially for a windowsill. So if you want to grow a bical, you're going to need something really big, very hot, and very humid with not too bright of light. These plants get so big, it makes it a little difficult to actually grow them long-term indoors. We have a couple specimens here. This is one of our bigger plants producing two huge basils. And this is still really small. These plants get huge, close to four feet across, and the pitchers are not very big compared to the leaf size. You could see how big the leaves are on this still immature specimen. They're huge compared to the pitcher size. This is actually one of my favorite forms, and it gets really dark pictures. How cool is that? Look at those fangs. Nepenthes bicalcarata certainly is one of the more unusual and awesome species in the genus. Look at those sharp vampire fangs. Wow, love having these in the collection. If you guys love this video, subscribe and check back every Wednesday for more awesome Nepenthes and rare plant uploads. I am sweating my butt off, so I'm going to go hide in the Highland Greenhouse. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon.